What you're looking at right here might be the biggest development in micro quadcopter battery technology in years. You see, this is a new battery connector, a new high performance, low resistance battery connector that can help you get the most performance out of your batteries. And if you're thinking, gosh, that looks an awful lot like a BT 2.0 connector. Haha, -ha, it sure does. And that's what makes it so special, but it's not a BT 2.0 connector. And I want to introduce you to it because, well, frankly, I think it's going to be the new go-to micro battery connector going forward. One note about this video though, this was originally part of my review of the Flywoo Nano 1.6 inch and I decided it needed to be its own video so that everybody could see it who flies micros, not just the people who are interested in the Firefly. So if it feels like this wasn't originally its own video, that's why. Enjoy. Flywheel are shipping these quadcopters with a new kind of battery connector. On the 2S versions of this bird, it comes with an XT30, which is a great connector, but is a little bit too big and heavy for a quadcopter of this size. And it's overkill. You're going to be pulling less than 5 amps from the battery, so you don't need a 30 amp connector. The traditional PH 2.0 connector that's found on many Tiny Whoops just doesn't have very good current carrying capacity. And a lot of times you'll see significant voltage loss resulting in shorter flight times and less power simply due to the resistance of the PH 2.0 connector. Beta FPV invented the BT 2.0 connector in order to try to solve this problem and solve this problem it did. The BT 2.0 connector is a fantastic balance of small size, lightweight and good uh, current carrying capacity for batteries of this size. But the problem is that they didn't open source it. Basically, any battery manufacturer who makes a battery with a BT 2.0 connector on it, or anybody who makes a charger with a BT 2.0 connector on it, has to buy those connectors from Beta FPV. And Beta FPV, it, it amounts to about $1 extra per Tiny Whoop battery, which that's a pretty substantial markup, and a lot of manufacturers just don't want to do it. And that brings us to the AN30 plug from GNB. And there's three key things about this plug. First of all, the A30 plug has similar or better current carrying capacity to the BT 2.0. You're going to get less voltage loss, lower resistance, all of the advantages there. It is also similar in size and weight. It's basically a direct competitor to the BT 2.0, but GNB has open sourced it basically. Anyone can make them. They don't have to pay GNB any licensing, which means that it seems more likely to attain wide spread adoption than the BT 2.0. Although it's kind of impressive how well the BT 2.0 has done, given that people have to pay extra for it. It just speaks to the fact that the community wants a really good micro sized battery connector. But I think that we may see the A30 connector drive the BT 2.0 out of popularity because it's going to be cheaper and perform just as well. The other thing you need to know about the A30 connector is that it's sort of compatible with BT 2.0, sort of, but not really. You see, GNB couldn't just rip off the BT 2.0 connector and say, oh, look, we made one. It looks exactly the same and it fits the same. And you know, Beta FPV would, well, I don't know what they would do because Chinese companies don't really have a great reputation for respecting each other's trademarks, but they didn't do that. They made one that was ever, ever so slightly different so they could say that they weren't copying. And the difference, as you can see, is that the A30 connector has a tiny little groove right here in the side and the BT 2.0 connector does not. And what that means is that a BT 2.0 2.0 battery will not plug into an AT, an A30 connector. Oh, you could probably jam it in there. Or you could just file off the, the little ridge if you wanted to. But it, it, uh, ostensibly, at least, it will not plug in. But the A30 plug will plug in to a BT 2.0 plug on a charger. And that means that if you have a charger that you use to charge your BT 2.0 batteries, you will also be able to charge your A30 batteries, but you will not be able, not without some force or modification, to use your BT 2.0 batteries on these A30 connectors, at least, I guess you could change the plug if you really cared about that. Will it plug in? I gotta know. I gotta know, right? I gotta just try to jam it in. I'm not gonna hurt anything. Surely they didn't reverse the polarity, right? Sh surely they wouldn't have done that. Let's just double check. No, polarity is the same. All right, let's see if it'll plug in. I'm just gonna stick it in. It doesn't wanna go. Oh yeah, it totally, it'll just freaking go right in there. 
it'll go right in there. It's not, you don't even have to push that hard. So yeah, it's just, it's cross compatible with BT 2.0 both directions. 